Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my Bath and Body Works empties for the month of February. It was a decent month. I have four items here to share with you. If you did not see my project use it up update, please go watch that first so you don't get anything spoiled. Kind of see where I am at as far as working through my stash and then come back to this video and see the reviews on those items. So I finished two pocket backs this month. I had a couple, I have a couple going at any one time. Usually I have like one in my purse, one at the bathroom sink, one at work, etc. So I have one no matter where I go. So the first one I finished was Twisted Peppermint. This one was in my bathroom sink and I've been using it the last couple of months around the holidays. I definitely did like this one. It's probably not one that I'm gonna wanna have a lot, but during the winter holiday season, it was enjoyable. And then I also finished just the last little bit I've had of this one. This has been in my purse for months and months now. This is Blue Sea Salt. And this one was really interesting because I actually got the saltiness. It, it was like a saltiness water type scent. It was actually really enjoyable and I definitely would pick this one up again if I um, could find it, if they ever came back out with it. Two pocket backs. I finished one Ultra Shea Body Cream in the scent Merry Cherry Cheer. I did a whole review on this. Um, you can't get it anymore, but if you want to check out that review, I will link it up above. The scent notes are maraschino cherry, pomegranate cider, raspberry blossom, sugared musk, and black cherry amaretto. And this smells just like a sweet, fruity cherry scent. I liked it because it didn't smell too artificial cherry. It wasn't like super medicinal or anything. Um, it was nice. It was a good like February type of scent. It's probably not one that I would purchase again. I just, it was kind of forgettable to me. Nothing was super memorable about it. So I probably would not purchase it again. And then the last item that I finished was the super rich moisturizing body wash in the scent Pretty as a Peach. So Pretty as a Peach is one of my favorite scents ever. And so when I saw this a couple of years ago, I knew I had to pick it up. I got this when they had their like 375 body wash sale day. It usually happens around Christmas time. They'll have one day where all body washes will be really, really cheap, and then all lotions, body creams, fine fragrance mist, and there will be a whole day for each of those items. And it's the perfect time to stock up. And so usually I try to stock up on like shower gel if I'm running out, and by God, I am not running out. But if I ever was, to stock up on shower gel as well as body cream. Those are kind of like big sale days um, for me. But that's how I got this because this is 16 15 $16.50 retail value and I'm definitely not going to pay that. So I got this for like $3.75. Um, I really did like this. It was moisturizing. This took me a long time to use it. I used it to shave my legs and I felt like it was more moisturizing than their just normal body washes even though I enjoy those too. The scent notes on this are Blushing Peach, Jasmine Petals, White Nectarine, Apple Blossom, and Sheer Freesia. And it's just the perfect peach scent. There's like a little bit of floral to it, but it's mostly peach. Great for the spring and summertime. And I don't know, I would just highly, highly recommend this. If you're a fan of Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, this is the same scent, just repackaged in their permanent signature line. But that is everything I have that I finished from Bath & Body Works in February, so just a couple of things, but I feel confident and good about the progress that I am making. Um, I really hope to have a fine fragrance mist in my empties next month, so stay tuned for that and we'll see if I can do it. But that is everything I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I finished, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.